All right, guys. It is a dreary, rainy day here in the end times. It is 7.30 in the morning on Wednesday, September 7th. 2022 so uh, this is what I am doing on my day to save the planet we got more planet eating going on at bugs in a jar farm hallelujah good God we are putting a new putting a new back driveway up to what will someday be the piney woods tiny house <laughs> good god it has been one hell of a night i have been up since 3 30 in the fucking morning stewing about thinking about this goddamn job and thinking about fucking uh dirty windows and thinking about corner molding in my tiny house uh, thinking about the shindig next weekend so anyway I want to send this uh, I'm gonna send this early morning coffee rant out to my old buddy Vegematic uh, brother Uh, sounds like you're having kind of a bad time and uh, I don't know if anyone if you have not heard Vegematic's latest uh, video I guess he recorded it yesterday yeah. whoa <laughs> about ready to get hit by a fucking backhoe in my own yard And God, he was completely unaware <laughs> that I was parked there. Melt got fucking hit by a fucking backhoe at 7.30 in the morning. I thought he was on those goddamn legs. So, uh, anyway, heading back to Vegematic. If you have not heard Veg's last uh, video yesterday, go over to his channel and listen to it and uh, speaks for itself but uh, you know roughly talking about as so many of us do down in the doomosphere about you know just trying to wrap our heads around the knowledge of how fucked we are I mean really internalizing this how uh, each one of us, uh, how the human race, and most importantly, how the fucking planet, I mean, we're done for. We're fucked. There's not a motherfucking thing we're gonna do about it. Uh, the, the, this whole ship is going down. Uh, you know, the days of being able to get a fucking backhoe to come out to your house at 7.30 in the fucking morning. And this is the county road crew, and they're, and they're doing this for free. I mean, I had to pay $600 for the culvert, but they're doing this work, putting my tax money to work. But th these days are numbered, where you're gonna be able to, to call some, uh, you know, call your local government and have them come out to your house. Uh, we got a fucking backhoe, a flatbed truck, a dump truck. And uh, the, the, the whole thing is going down. And uh, apparently Vegematic is having a tough time, you know, just, just dealing with this, this knowledge with a capital K and this truth with a capital T and as I have been you know my point since I started this 
fucking whatever uh, it is I do with my life. Uh, how many years ago now? It's been 14 fucking years that I've been walking around carrying this fucking black cloud of doom. Uh, you, you know, it's, uh, it, it, it's tough. And how many times can I say it? And uh, I'm sure while Veg didn't voice it, uh, it, it was implied in everything he was saying in his video yesterday. I mean, the, the number one fucking challenge, the number one challenge is when you do accept this knowledge and this truth of how fucked we are. Uh, and then you and you accept it on uh, what I call a cellular level that we're not coming out of this one. Uh, you know, global industrial civilization is is going down like it needs to, and uh, the tragedy of it is that we're taking down uh, every single one of our fellow Earthlings on our way down. Uh, you know, which is the real tragedy. I mean, how many of my fucking fellow Earthlings am I taking down here in my own yard uh, so I can get a fucking gas-sucking truck uh, up this hill uh, that I've been walking up for, you know, the past three years? There actually used to be a road. I, I mean, well, what we're doing is we're, you know, we're, pretty, we're kind of rebuilding a road that, uh, you, you know, that used to be here and that Mother Earth has reclaimed. And uh, I'm just going back and reclaiming from Mother Earth what she has reclaimed from, you know, this constant battle. But, uh, this, I mean, this, this is one tiny example where a fucking eco-Nazi with full knowledge, you know, so, but anyway, uh, you know, the, the challenge to all of us down here in this, in the ultimate rabbit hole, the ultimate rabbit hole, uh, the mother of all rabbit holes is, is, how do we just go about our daily fucking lives w without just getting, you know, sounding like Vegematic yesterday? Uh, how, how the fuck do we do it? And, you know, how do we comport ourselves for the rest of our lives walking around with this knowledge? And, uh... It's just, it's just the human ability to compartmentalize, uh, just, you know, with walking with one foot in both worlds. I mean, if, if, you, if you got down there, you know, to the point that Veg was at yesterday, and he might still be today, uh, I mean, that, that, that's no way to fucking live. You couldn't live like that. You have got to, uh, you know, to somehow fucking compartmentalize, understand, uh, you know, that we're fucked, and, and then go about your goddamn life, uh, because it doesn't make, it makes no fucking difference what I, anybody does now. I mean, what I'm doing, this planet eating that I am doing right now, I mean, obviously it makes a difference to the, to the fucking fellow earthlings, however many frogs and toads and salamanders and whatever, uh, I, you know, I'm getting ready to murder today so I can drive this fucking gas-sucking truck up this hill because I'm too fucking lazy to walk. Oh, Jesus.
And, and this is a decision that every one of us, we just have to figure out uh, ourselves. And uh, so, so what Veg, you know, he started out his, his uh, video yesterday talking about how he had, uh, he, 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 you know, the, the classic tossing and turning on and waking up in a cold sweat and all of this, to, you know, realizing that, that uh, d d just realizing how fucked we are. That this, uh, that this fucking uh, bad news and this spiraling descent into fucking madness and hell uh, that that is awaiting uh, humanity in this planet. Uh, that you know how he's just laying there in bed, tossing and turning, unable to sleep. Well, so I watched that video. As I was watching that video, what I was doing was making a big batch of salsa, making this huge, uh, big-ass batch of salsa from all of these beautiful tomatoes out in my garden. Uh, that's what I was doing uh, when when this video came on. I was I was out there having a margarita, making salsa, thinking about the party next week, and obviously wishing uh, Veg could join us. It doesn't look like that's going to happen, unfortunately. Brother, you know, uh, without beating a dead horse, that we would love to, uh, to have you join us next week. We really would. And, and anybody else listening to this, they're all invited up to Bugs in a Jar. Starting one week from today, but so that's what I was doing. It is it is that's how I was carrying myself uh, through life. I, I was sitting out there, uh, you know, looking at, at a beautiful scene, uh, you know, meaning my backyard. Looking at my beautiful backyard at sunset. Uh, drinking a margarita and making a big batch of salsa thinking about uh, having my friends come up and enjoying it while we still can and listening to uh veg uh, you know sounding like he's one fucking step away from uh going michael rupert on us uh so anyway so I go to bed, like I always do. I go to bed at midnight last night, and at 3.30, you know, I, I 3.30 in the fucking morning, uh, I have to get up to pee, and then I, I go, you know, I get back in bed, and, and fuck, and, and, and my brain is just, uh, now while Veg is depressed, I am manic, if you guys have not realize this I am it's not a full-blown mania but I am uh, certainly mildly manic so I was tossing and turning I mean just like veg was the night before but what was I tossing and turning about guys I, I what was it well obviously thinking you know what time are these guys gonna show up to be doing this but what was really uh, keeping me tossing and turning, I was thinking of how uh, I was going to put a piece of corner molding in the new tiny house. Uh, you know, what board I was going to, do I have the right board? And now what the fuck am I going to have to move around that I've already installed? I, you know, obviously I should have put the fucking molding in before I started installing the goddamn uh, countertops and the shelves and putting fucking pictures on the wall and uh, hanging uh, the, the cabinets and shit. And so, what the fuck, and, and, and uh, am I going to have to go through, in what order, and then uh, that probably took a half an hour, then I started 
doing uh, about how to get fucking uh, fogged double pane windows cleaned up, tossing and turning about how to get some fucking condensation off of a window, off of my picture window. And then I started, you know, I started going through the materials list for, uh, I'm building two outhouses. So, I mean, you know, I'm going through all of the fucking, uh, how many 12 foot two by fours, how many five foot two by fours, how many eight foot two by fours, do I need any two by six? Uh, and, 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 and before I know it, it's fucking 5.30 in the morning. And so I am sitting here, Fucking uh, not 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 even thinking about doom and gloom. Uh, you, you know, I, people are always saying to get your mind off of the doom and gloom. That you just have to make yourself busy, whether it's getting out there and enjoying it while you can, or doing anything just to keep yourself occupied, to keep your brain uh, off of this shit. So. Uh, so instead of and it, 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 I, I, I wasn't I, I, I really was I, I was not going through all of the these mental uh, brain noise gyrations on any fucking level to get my mind off the state of the planet. The state of the planet had fucking nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. My my fucking mania uh, that I cannot shut down this internal fucking dialogue as uh, as Don Juan and Carlos Castaneda, you know, shutting down this internal dialogue. It's the hardest job in the world. Just that this loop, this never-ending fucking loop going through about a fucking piece of, uh, about a fucking piece of corner molding in a tiny house. Uh, you know, there's 22 million uh, people getting ready to fucking starve to death in Somalia. Go over there, you know, over there to fucking Pakistan. Uh, you know, l look at the scene over there. Fucking an Amazon rainforest going up in fucking flames. And uh, I, I, I'm sitting here spending two fucking hours tossing and turning. Uh, th th thinking of, you know, thinking these fucking little uh, thoughts. And, uh, well, I guess the culvert is in. And so what I did instead of, you know, thinking about getting busy in daily lives to forget about doom, what I did is I turned on my fucking computer and went and listened to the doom and gloom. Is that it? All right, so are you guys done? Is, is this too close? All right. They're saying I need to uh, get farther back from their machinery. Uh, I don't know what else they're getting ready to do here. Good God, look at all of this equipment. So what I did, what I did was, instead of... Uh, Instead of thinking about, you know, just normal day-to-day -day living to get away from the fucking doom, I turn on the goddamn doom and gloom. So I, I found some interview with Paul Beckwith and Peter Wadhams. I was thinking maybe that'll put me to fucking sleep. Uh, you know, listening to some uh, hour-long... YouTube 
uh, about the collapse of uh, you know the fucking planet and shit and uh, you know listening to to Paul and Peter Peter and Paul uh, I have to say I'm 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 with Peter Wadhams and uh, <laughs> when Paul Beckwith you know, said oh, shut up they uh you know, they go through all of the, uh, you know, the scale of the problem in the Arctic and the Antarctic. And then, they, you know, then of course, the interviewer, can't remember what her name was, uh, you know, talking about, as they get to the thing, talking about solutions. And Paul made some... Uh, made some comment and and I just assumed he was joking when he was talking about Elon Musk firing up rockets and putting a bunch of mylar in space uh, you know streamers of mylar in space to, uh, you know, to turn back the melting uh, ice sheets and stuff. And, and I honestly thought he, he was fucking joking. But he wasn't. He, I, Paul Beckwith, uh, who understands as much as any of us how completely fucked we are, uh, talking about fucking Elon Musk saving the fucking planet by firing a bunch of fucking rockets uh, with streamers of mylar. Then talking about putting fucking mirrors up, putting a bunch of mirrors, or you know, come on, dude. And, and I was thinking, well, God damn, uh, how is Peter Wadham sitting there and keeping his fucking uh, mouth shut? How, how did brother? How the fuck did you do that? And uh, so at least the doom and gloom got my fucking mind. I uh, got my fucking mind off of uh, all, all of this goddamn uh, this level of brain noise. So it's good for that. Anyway, I'm going. So. All right. My things are coming along swimmingly. Uh, man. Coming along swimmingly at bugs in a jar. Uh, So I don't know what else to tell you guys. Uh, we're fucked, and and we we've, we've all got to learn how to deal with it. Uh, <laughs> learning how to walk with your feet in two worlds. But. Anywho's, I got work to do to uh, get ready for this shindig. Come see us, Vads. I hope you feel better, brother. Take three deep breaths, preferably of some good top shelf weed. And uh, we'll keep the light on for you at the shindig at Bugs in a Jar Farm. But uh, I have to get back to uh, killing my fellow Earthlings so I can drive this gas-sucking tr truck up to the third tiny house we're getting ready to build since two tiny houses just are not enough. 
I need more, more, more. Bye, guys.